Backyard Barbecue. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, cooking up good things, giving tips. Hope y'all liked my previous video on uh, tips uh, to make you the master chef out here on these grills. Uh, today, I'm going to use my Kamado, and I think I'm going to cook pork belly burn ends, right? People love beef brisket and uh, the flatten the point, and you know, taking a piece of, piece of meat and cutting it up once it's done and uh, trimming it up and making burn ends. Succulent flavor to that too. So I figured why not do some pork belly burn ends. A lot of people don't do them. I'm um, not sure how many videos out there. I think I saw one. But I'm pretty sure YouTube got a billion videos out there. So they have a billion and one. Let's do it y'all. Let's go to this kitchen and uh, cook up some stuff. Hey feel free when I do these videos I use the stuff that I like. The stuff that I keep in my kitchen. Sometimes I go to the store um, you know to buy different things I like to keep in there, but that's the stuff I keep on the regular. I'm not just going out to buy something just to be buying it for a particular meat. So keep that in mind too, right? Use the stuff you have that is similar to like barbecue sauce. Use uh, I use Sweet Baby Ray's, uh, and if I'm not lazy, I create my own, and then I'll put in there, I'll keep it in the, in the gallon jars or whatnot, and uh, we'll go from there. So. Please feel free. This is what I'm giving to you guys is what I think works for me because that's what I keep in my kitchen. And that's what Backyard Barbecue is all about, man. Cooking good food with what you got in the kitchen without spending a ton of money and uh, giving you a recipe that you got to go out and spend $40 just to taste it. And you may not even like it. So what better way to use some stuff you keep in the kitchen, um, keep your product going down, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people in their kitchen, uh, refrigerators will use, buy stuff and then it, It'll go bad before they even use it. So this gives you the opportunity to use the stuff you have already and then make perfect product. But anyway, let's go in this kitchen to get started, y'all. All right, back y'all barbecues. We are back. Like I told you, we're gonna cook pork belly today. Let me show you this right here. Maybe you can read it. Uh pork belly. Um, I know you see the price of $25.76. That ain't what I got it for. I might have got this for like five dollars. Anyway. No, I ain't telling you where I got it from. Uh, but no, it was on sale. I jumped on it, bought me a couple of them. Because obviously, you know, bacon is made out of this as well. Or uh, the pork belly. But anyway, what we're going to do is burnt ends today, y'all. So I'm going to, I'm not going to cook the whole thing. I'm just cutting it in half. And then uh, cube it up. And then we're going to go from there. But I'm going to show you. I'm using multiple ingredients. But I don't want to show them to you immediately off the beginning. Um, so stay tuned as I go through it. And uh, we're going to go through some stuff. But I'm going to show you this right here. Uh, some olive oil. And this stuff right here. Man, if you don't know who John Henry is, you're already behind in the grilling uh, uh, market. Uh, this is the favorite pecan rub. Go buy you about 20 of these, man. These things here are on point. About a about big jaw. Um, but anyway, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Uh, going to cube it up. And then we're going to go from there and then we'll talk about what we're going to do with this today. All right. We'll be back shortly. All right, ladies and gents, we back. We've got the pork bellies all cut up. Um, a lot of people try to make them perfect squares and all of that. But in reality is when you eat it, you don't care what it looked like, right? But anyway, I do got them all uh, squared up. Um, this is not about perfection. This is about the end product. So we're just going to take some olive oil. Just a little bit. Once again, some little great value. Notice I love the great value. We're gonna uh, mix up the olive oil. And what that does is provide a coating. Normally, like people will use mustard as another sticking coat, but I'm not gonna do it for these pork bellies just because I like them this way. So once I have that done, I'm gonna come back with my John Henry's. Like I said, get you some of this. Get you some of this stuff, man. Season it up. You want to get all the sides of this. All the sides of the uh, pork belly. You get the picture. Uh, I'm going to finish seasoning this up and prep it for the uh, let it sweat a little bit so you'll see the uh, the reddish color once I get ready to put them on the uh, Kamado. And we're going to go from there. Now I'll explain to you in the next segment how long it takes to cook them at various segments, probably about almost close to five hours total. 
to complete the entire process and you'll understand once I actually tell you through the different steps. That's why they show you the uh, seasoning or uh, the different mixtures that I use because I use different things at different stages of the uh, the cook. Alright, I'm done with that for now. And I'm going to come back and hit it again right before I put it on the grill. So I'll see you guys at the grill in a minute, y'all. Alright, we are back. My grill is about 225 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it up. As you can see, it started to... Uh, uh, Smoke started to come out. I'm gonna put my uh, actually hold on before I put my stone in. Show y'all this wood. Shout out to my boy uh, Myron over at uh, Wild Willis Barbecue. That's my boy there. He putting down real barbecue over there up in uh, uh, the Georgia area, Kingsland area, or whatnot. Um, comment below if you want me to uh, pass off your uh, his information if you're in that area and definitely looking for some good Q. Uh, like I said, down in southern Georgia, right, right, right uh, past the Georgia, Florida. State line off uh, 95. So put me on this right here. This is cherry wood, but it's some black cherry grilling chunks, right? Got that from one of the local stores. One of the local vendors was selling this, so I figured I'd give it a try. So I'm going to let you know how, how this works. It's simple. We're just going to take a couple chunks and place them down in into the, uh, the grill. Because I'm looking for that cherry smoke. You know, I'm doing pork, so I love that deep red color. I'm gonna take my stone, stick it on there. Position it in place. Put my grill rack on. Let it come up to about 250-ish. And that's when we're gonna throttle back. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my vents a little bit more since I had it open. Get the temps up. And then we'll be back in a little bit, y'all, when it goes to 225. Uh, grill is about ready. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna use my tray. I'm gonna stick my tray on here, my little metal pan, rather. Let me get, let you get a look at these pork bellies. Yeah, all cut up. I'm using this as my my uh my catcher for the. Actually, you know what? Uh, it's even better if I put my aluminum pan on the bottom. I think I like that, that method a little bit better. Beauty of having a fold up top, y'all. Sorry if y'all got the uh, big green egg and you can't do that. There we go. We're gonna sit them on there for about three hours. I'm not even gonna look at them. Just gonna let them uh, uh, cook, get that smoke flavor. Got my top. I'm adjusted to the uh, smoking section, just a little bit between smoking and grill. And that's about it. We'll come back in three hours, y'all. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell you the rest of what I'm putting on there when we come back. See you in a few. Oh, real quick. One thing I forgot to do right quick is top it back off with some seasoning. Just added flavor. Now, you can't over-season meat, right? So if you got a heavy hand, you might want to use a measuring cup. Uh, I've been doing this for a while, so the hand's kind of steady when it comes to uh, sprinkling seasoning. And there we go. Bam! Start my timer. 30 minutes, and then we're going to go from there, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, still hovering around 250-ish, maybe like 260. Uh, it's about time to check it. Three hours. Check it out, y'all. Yeah, talking about burn ends. There we go. All right, I'll take my pan out. Yes, uh, all right. Here's the beauty of this I'm coming back and putting all my uh. Meat inside the uh, the the pan with all the drippings, and then I'll be back and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna put on top. Give me a sec. Let me show y'all a couple of ingredients. Stick of butter, brown sugar. 
I'm using the light version of brown sugar. And this stuff right here, a lot of people put honey on there. But uh, I'm going to show y'all my secret. Right? You can own it. Only place I've seen this, I don't think I've seen it in Florida. Let me show you. You see what that says? Georgia cane syrup. Yep. So I'm going to put honey on mine. I put off uh, cane syrup. And I'm going to show y'all just how thick this is. Got my pan on that. And what I'm going to do, y'all, is, of course, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick my butter on them. Uh, it don't have to be perfect. Just stick it on there. It's going to melt. Trust me. Come back with the cane syrup in the end. Brown sugar. You just drizzling this on there. I'll give y'all a look, a close up here shortly. Uh, maybe another small little handful. And we're going to put aluminum foil over it. Now this is, it's already done. The meat is already done. But we want that fat to break down so it can really taste tender and moist. There we go. I'm going to show y'all how thick this is, right? It's a true cane syrup. Watch this. Look how that pours out. Look, I got the whole bottle upside down almost. Bam. That's all you need. Like I said, we're going to put this top back on. I mean, top back on. We're going to put this aluminum foil on top. And then let it go for what it knows. Alright, so you get the picture. We're gonna let it sit for, like I said, the tip is about two. Well, I done left the top off now, so it's probably gonna creep up on me. Uh, about 260, 270. I'm gonna have to sit here for a little bit. The, the, the monitor my tip. Let me put one more on there just to cover that edge. And then. That'll be it. And we're gonna let that sit in there for about 90 minutes, y'all. About 90 minutes. Oh, get a quick look at the dome. Remember when I first got it? It was uh, you no, know, obviously looking like clay pottery. Let me go ahead and close this. We talked for a second. But uh, now it is fully seasoned. It looks shiny. If yours doesn't look like that. Uh, check out my uh, first video on how I season it, and we'll go from there. We'll see y'all in uh, 90 minutes, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah. Let's see here. Kind of hot. this up let y'all get a look look how juicy that is all right let's see here now it's time for the the grand finale Burn in here, baby. Woo. Barbecue sauce. Oh, let me let you see that again. That's that sweet baby rays. Uh, hickory and brown sugar. But there's a catch. I'm coming right behind it with this mouse. Also from uh, Kinder. Got this from my mom them out in California. This stuff here is awesome, man. Especially when it's mixed together with that uh, sweet baby rays. So. Put some of that on. I'm behind it. With that barbecue sauce. I'm gonna mix it up. 
leave the top off so it can caramelize. Yep, I want to sit in them juices. A lot of people switch pans a lot of time, but what they fail to tell you is the flavor switches with it. All right? All right. I'm going to let that sit for about another, we're going to do 15 minutes. Let's do 15 minutes. Let it caramelize. And we'll be back to see the final product, y'all. As y'all can see, my temp is hovering at 250. This grill is amazing, y'all. I love it. Let's see what we're looking at here. Mmm. That smells good. Yes, sir. All right. Take some of these out so I can put them on this plate. Yeah, put a little more on there. Give y'all a look. Man, I'm about to tear this up, y'all. Let me finish this, and then I'll be back with the final uh, conclusion. What's going on, y'all? Look at my little dog in the background. Tight, come here. Come here. Say hey to the, say hey to everybody. Hey, look at Snow, come here. Here, Snow. Say hey to everybody. Anyway, all right. My little puppies, they ain't puppies. Them full grown dogs eating everything and waiting on this. Let me give y'all a look at that. To my burnt ends. It's like candy, y'all. Got me something right here. Let me sit this down. Come back and talk to y'all real quick and send you on your way. Right. So somebody wanted to see me eating. All right. Well, here goes. My dog. Mm. Mm. I eat another one of these. Anyway, before I do that, this is the man. This flavor is crazy. Go out and buy you some of this and try it for yourself. Mix what you want. Like if you like honey taste, use that. Like I use the cane syrup just because I like from the country. I love cane syrup. And thought it was a good time to just try it out, see what happens. Um, works awesome, man. There you have it, y'all. Pork belly burn ins. Instead of making bacon, I could probably serve this for breakfast, y'all. Um, as a reminder, though, when I cut this, I cut a lot of the fat off. And uh, I know my eyes going all over. I'm trying to find actually where the camera is. But uh, I cut a lot of the fat off. Uh, I know next time I'll leave some more fat on there. Some of the pieces got fat on there, like this piece right here. I'm trying to tear up. Um, actually, I'm ready to turn this off and eat this. But before I do that, um, I'd like to say thank you for watching. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Doing it up, cooking pork belly. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Holla at your boy. Yeah, now I'm finna eat this.